the Ionic has broken down and we are stranded here in this Redditch car park. I was sat in the car waiting for an hour. The battery discharge warning came on and so I kept the, the car ignition switched on. Here we are with a broken down Ionic EV. If I put my foot on the brake, here's the key. And I press the start button, the power button. It says, key not detected. Press power button with the key, okay. Stop vehicle and check brakes. Pressing the brakes does nothing. Won't go into drive. Let's try switching it off and back on again. That works with pretty much everything else. Power off. Uh, foot on the brake, says key not detected. So let's press the power button with the key and see what happens. Stop vehicle and check brakes. So I can't do anything. The Ionic has broken down. Frustrating. Okay, we're gonna wait for the AA man to come and uh, see what's wrong with it. Ooh, look, look what's happening to the screen. I'm not meant to do that. There's the AA, AA guy. This is the first time something's gone wrong. So yeah, 6.1 volts. Yeah, that was a pancake pretty much. At this point, the AA mechanic connected a battery booster to the 12 volt battery, and after a few minutes, got me to start the car again, at which point it recognized the battery and started charging it normally. So what happened? There are two batteries in the Ionic, the 28 kilowatt main battery, which drives the car, and a standard 12 volt battery for powering the electrics like the lights and heating. Normally, if the 12 volt battery level drops below a certain voltage, the car recharges it from the main battery, but only if the ignition's on. So I'd been sitting in the car for a while and I got the battery discharge warning advising me to switch the ignition on, which I did, but the 12 volt battery level must have been so low that the car didn't recognize it any longer and it didn't charge it from the main battery. Since the 12 volt battery drained down to six volts, the car's electrical systems couldn't operate properly. Using a booster to put some charge back into the 12 volt battery revived it sufficiently for the Ionic to then continue charging it. So the lesson to be learned is to keep the ignition on if you're sitting in the car for any length of time. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel, and thank you very much for watching.